Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to model in carton bag with Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So, first step, let's go to here and select this cube. Change cube scales. Like this. and go to here select subdivision surface and select this cube move to inside this subdivision surface okay then select this cube and go to click this icon make editable and select this edge right mouse loop path cut make one cut here and one cut here and here and here okay nice then click this icon and click move tool select this subdivision surface and change subdivision editor 3 for smooth subdivision like this okay nice then go to again here make new cube and change scale like this change again scale here okay then go to display change c shading lines shading for and select this object cube let's change name cube to and click object change segments for and this for okay let's move to object left and change scale again move to right okay not bad and move to here okay like so in this time let's click this icon and back to front select object and click this icon make editable and click this points point tool and click here and go to selection tool Orange selection. Okay. Select these points. Move to up. And these points. Move to up again. And this. Let's select these points. Okay and these points and select these two points move to down okay and select these points and this okay click this icon and this icon back to perspective click move tool let's see okay again go to here make subdivision surface and select this cube to move to inside this subdivision surface okay let's click scale tool and change scale okay and select this cube tool click edge tool right mouse loop path cut make cuts 
Okay. Then select this subdivision. Change subdivision editor three. Again, select this object. Change scale. Okay, change display shading. Okay, not bad. So, select these subdivisions, move to up. And so in this time, let's make lock. Go to again here, new cube. Change scale. And go to display, change shading lines and select object, change segments 4. Okay. And click editable, select this icon and make lock object. Right mouse, extrude, extrude inside and select this edge right mouse inside inner like this again right mouse extrude okay then select this icon right mouse loop path cut let's make here and here here okay again here and here and here okay click this icon and move tool go to here select subdivision surface and select this cube move to inside subdivision surface Okay, not bad. Change display shading. Nice. And select this object. Let's click this icon. And move to anchor point. Center to object. Like this. Okay, and click this icon and move to back change rotation okay nice then let's make other objects So let's select this object, box object, change scale like this and select this object, change scale, okay. And select this subdivision of surface, open, select this cube. Let's click this icon, for C box and select this points, go to selection tool Orangeal selection and select these points, click scale tool, change scale like this and enable subdivision surface. Okay, this is not bad. Nice. Okay, let's make other objects. Go to here. 
make cylinder, change cylinder size, and click this icon, select this icon, Control A, and change scale. Okay, and click move tool and this icon, change rotation, hold shift and change rotation. Let's change rotation numbers here, 90, and click apply. Okay, move to here. And again, go to display, see shadings, select this edge tool, right mouse, loop path cut, make loop here and here. Click move tool and go to again subdivision surface, select this cylinder, move to subdivision surface inside. Okay, nice. Let's select this cylinder and change scale. Okay. And move to center. Okay. And select this subdivision surface. Hold control and move to left. Okay, nice. Then go to here, make cube. Change cube scales. Okay, then Go to editable, again select this icon, right mouse, loop path cut and make paths for smooth object. Okay. And go to subdivision, select this cube, move to inside this subdivision. And select this subdivision, change subdivision editor 3. Let's see. Okay. And select this cube object, change rotation. Okay. And click scale tool, change scale. Move to here. Okay. Again, scale object. And move to right. Change rotation again. Okay, nice. Let's change again scale. Select this cube. Okay, nice. And select this subdivision surface. Hold control. Move to right for copy object okay select these two subdivision objects and right mouse alt g make group okay and hold control copy this group open this group null Select this cube, change rotation, 
and this okay let's move to here and move to up and this select this cube okay nice so in this time let's again go to cube make new cube move to up change scale okay and go to object change segments four okay and go to subdivision subdivision surface and select this cube move to inside this subdivision select this cube again change scale okay and click editable select point tool and go to select range selection and select these points move to up and this move to up and these points okay so let's select this all objects and right mouse make group and select this group move to left okay and select this object subdivision surface 3 or 2 and click scale tool change scale okay again select this null object click here back to top and let's move to right okay i think that this is not bad model so we have a little problem here select this subdivision move to here after scale and move to left okay nice let's see display shading lines nice so select this subdivision again move to right for center okay nice so thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck